These are just a bunch of magnets on a bicycle tire. And there is a, like an ATV ignition coil here. Those things go by the ignition coil. They're not even really that close. I would say an eighth of an inch. You'd probably get much better results if they were closer. But regardless, you go down here and uh, you don't see, but there's diodes behind that uh, tape. It's just a full full wave rectifier. And then I have a, a 1,000 microfarad capacitor hooked in parallel with that. Now spinning this tire actually charges the capacitor. Not very quickly, but charges it nonetheless. You can see we're up to about 7.5 volts. And that's about 10 volts there. And we are currently up to 16.8 volts and rising. Now obviously a, a given load on this would deplete that, but the fact that we can charge it using nothing but a magnet, magnets and a coil, not terrible. This would easily, probably, this would easily keep up with a little bank of LEDs. Or a large bank of LEDs. Yeah. Really? That's almost twice what we were getting, and it's still rising, which means that... Yeah, it's still pushing it. There we go. You notice we lose it faster? Mm hmm The higher... Come on, let's get 20 volts. <laughs> There it is. Yeah, it really is. It's a really <laughs> that really says something for the magnets that they're holding on there. Twenty-one four. Yeah. Now you got to get it up to twenty-two. <laughs> Done. <laughs> wow. We were only able to get 10 before, but we uh, we put the coil just just an eighth inch closer to the magnets, and now we're getting more than twice that, which just proves that exponentially. exponentially. Yeah. yeah. Very neat.